الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم How you doing? I'm okay. Yeah. I want to ask. Good Jesus, question. You said Jesus is a Muslim. Yeah, Muslim. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Can you explain it? Sure, I can explain it. So, the people don't understand what does Muslim mean, right? Okay. Muslim comes from the word Aslama. Aslama means to submit. So whoever submits their will to their creator is a Muslim, right? So we believe that Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, peace be on all of them. Okay. Go ahead. They were all people who Sorry, submitted their will. One question. Go ahead. Here. Go ahead. So, all the, all the religions, all the religions, like Jesus, like the, the Jewish, like okay, Christian, mm -hmm. that believes the same people, like okay. Like Moses. Okay. They just separate them in blasphemies. Like, yeah, like I got you. Like, Jesus. like Jews will not believe in Jesus and the Prophet Muhammad, yes. peace be on both so. of them. Christians will not believe in the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And Muslims believe in all of them. Okay. So, can you prove it? Sure. I got you. So, first thing, do you already believe there's a creator? Okay. Yes. Okay. I'm asking. All right. All right. So you believe there is a God, there is a creator that created us, that loves us, that guides us, right? So that creator would send us messages, right? Would send us guidance. Do you agree? Okay. So now, Adam, uh, Abraham, Moses, Joseph, all, all the way. You Adam, know, no, Ibrahim. No, no, Ibrahim. 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 I got you. Yeah, uh, yeah you good? Mashallah. <laughs> so uh, I wasn't really going chronologically, but. All of them, they brought a message. What was the message? Believe in one God, like the Ten Commandments, right? What's the first commandment? Here, O Israel, your God is one. Not three, not two. Uh, in the Ten Commandments in the Bible, is that here, O Israel, you're talking about the Quran. The first ayah in the Quran is Iqra, you're right. But I'm talking about the Ten Commandments in the Old Testament and the New Testament. The first commandment is that here, O Israel, your Lord is one. So the message that all those prophets brought is one God, not three. No, right? One God. Second commandment, don't no worship no idols. No you are, man, I, there's not going to be a lot of convincing needed. You're, you're, you're there, man. You already knew Quran, man. Where are you from? I don't want to say that. Why? When we finish conversation, I'm going to say it. All right, no problem. You don't have to say it. Don't worry about it. Um, so, when you have the same message coming, then you have some people that change up the message, right? For example, let me show you something. This is the this is a collection of the Greek manuscripts that the Bible is based off of. The today's New Testament, right? The Christian books, right? So if you look at this, you will find in the original Greek, and uh, I've highlighted in Greek as well, it shows that Jacob uh, is the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary. No, it's not correct. That is incorrect. You're right, right? But what does it say in the Bible? It's Jacob. Jacob, right? In the same Bible, you will find that uh, Joseph, the husband of Mary, was born to Heli, is the son of Heli. So which one is it? You see, and this is the Greek manuscripts. We have all, this is not, the earliest Greek manuscripts that you have are all based off the uh, Codex Sinaiticus, right? But the point is, Which is there, there was almost a thousand different Bibles. Exactly, all, right? All of them. Different, with different some points so great point yeah so we cannot so, uh, know if you, if you look at the bibles you know if you want to look at the bible you have to you have, you have to find ancient one, the first one excellent but if you cannot find it so the it's, earliest it's, one we have somebody wrote this you know, like, right, so you're not christian all right no. <laughs> so it's not the true point so okay you cannot show me this uh, like like uh, proof I know that. Prove what? No, it's not. Actually, I asked you, can you prove it? Yeah, yeah, so I'm getting there. So let me, let me, let me just. It's evidence. So, so the evidence that we're showing is the true message of Jesus is not with us today, right? Because the earliest Kodak Sinaiticus is 350 AD. That means fourth century. Okay. That's the earliest. So that means what was going on for 300 years, we don't have any scripture. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so then that means the Bible today cannot be the truth. So this idea of God having a son and all this stuff, this is all corruption, right? Now Islam, you know, because I can tell that the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu couldn't read or write. What? He could not read or write. Yes. Right? So 
when the Quran was revealed to him, the it first was, order was read. I'm sorry? The, the first order was Iqra. Iqra bismi rabbika alladhi khalaq. Read. This guy is messing with me, man. This guy is Muslim. He's just here all messing with me. I got you, bro. No problem. I didn't expect this. <laughs> all right. No good. So, if, uh, we're getting there. Sometimes all right. people ask you really hard questions. This is not hard. Don't worry, man. I got you. We get, we get all kinds of questions. So, so when the Quran was revealed to the Prophet ﷺ, the Quran talks about the heavenly bodies being in a uh, orbit, right? The Quran, and you already know a lot of that I can show you in the Quran, but you know that the barrier between salt and seawater, right? Development of the fetus. You know a man in the desert that can't read or write, that has no access to the Roman literatures or Greek literature or any of the science and technology that we have today, ultrasounds, could not have known those things, right? So how can a man in the desert who didn't have any of this, he can't even read or write, produce a book that the Arab poets couldn't respond to. The best poets were told, bring 10 chapters like they couldn't, bring one chapter they couldn't, bring 10 verses they couldn't, bring a verse they couldn't, right? So this shows a, a linguistic miracle, and then there are scientific, those facts that science got to know after developing ultrasounds, after developing uh, the Hubble telescope and all that, how can a man or desert have known? Right? We're going to keep going though, because we're going to do your shahada, both of you today. All right? We're getting there, we're getting there, right? Now these are types of miracles. Let's say somebody guesses and gets one thing right. Let's say I guess you're from Pakistan, which you're not, but I'm just guessing, right? And I get it right. I could get one thing right, right? But if I also guess where you're originally from, LA, no, I'm just kidding, right? I'm not even going to guess, right? I'm not going to keep getting it right. I can show you hundreds of such miraculous verses where you have predictions of future events, prophecies that came true, like who would win between Romans and, and, the, and the Persians and when it would happen. And you have scientific such things that could not have been known, historic things, things about the past, like why was uh, Musa السلام, in Misr? The Prophet didn't know. Allah revealed in the Quran, he responded to the Jews. They were like, you're right, because of the time of Joseph, right? So all of those put together. Now on top of that, icing on the cakes coming, right? The Prophet ﷺ was asked by the people of Mecca, show us a miracle. He said, what do you want to see? He said, split the moon. He said, if I split the moon, will you believe? They said, yes. He made dua by the will of Allah. Not his own, but the will of Allah, the moon split. Now, somebody may be like, oh, that sounds ridiculous. That's, that's it. Okay. I have a video on this, which I'm going to give you today. I think you've seen it, right? We will give you historic evidence. We will give you eyewitness accounts, first-hand accounts, from the companions of the Prophet ﷺ, from the enemies of the Prophet ﷺ. Imagine, like, let's say there's an anti-Muslim booth and we're in debate, and if they admit something happened, definitely happen, right? You have the enemies. I list the names. I give you I give you the books where they're listed. I even give you the chain of narrations. More authenticity than any other historic event of that time period or before it. Right? Like if you tell me about Alexander the Great's and travels, who met Alexander personally, first hand? Who said Alexander won this battle? First hand reports. Who did they tell it to? Who did they tell it to? When was it recorded in the book? We don't know. It just gets printed, we take it as fact. But the Quran is such, the ahadith are such, that we can verify them, we can check the chains of narrators, right? So these events that happened, the spring of the moon, I can give you hundreds of reports, different ahadith, that go through many different sahaba, like not hundreds of sah sahaba, but hundreds of different chains that go into multiple companions, the enemies of the Prophet people that were in different geographical locations, like Anas ibn Malik at the time was in Medina, not in Mecca. Right? He reported it. And we have to support all of this records from India. Right? Now those cannot be checked to our standard of hadith, but they are accepted history oral and written records in India. That's an Indian textbook that Indian prime ministers tweet about that show that there was a king in India that witnessed this event. And there were others, like the king of Maldives, there's a report about him as well, right? They, they witnessed these events. Now, these are supporting evidences. We already have the first-hand reports, right? But when you have this as well, that king in India, later when he met Muslims, he became a Muslim. He built a mosque, that mosque is still there. We have pictures of it, right? So how can a man in a desert split the moon? How can he know scientific facts that could not have been known? I believe it. All right, you're becoming Muslim. All right. <laughs> You're Muslim already? Yeah, yeah. Huh? Yeah, I'm good. You're Muslim? Yeah, I'm from Turkey. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna do a shot. You're Muslim? No. You're Muslim today. Come on, let's do this. Let's do this. Do you have a Quran? 
I'm going to give you something. Yeah, he's, like, he's teaching me. I'm going to give you a prize. Yeah, I, I want the reward. I, no, 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 no. no. Like, he can let teach him, you. He can give teach. it to me so it's special. All right, all right. I'll no, let you, I'll let you get that one. I'm learning. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> Mashallah. May Allah accept it from you. Zakallah khair. Nasasan. Take care. Tashakur lar. Thank you. Thank you. لا بد يوما آتية كل الخلائق حاضرة كل السرائر بادية آمنت أن الآخرة لا بد يوما آتية كل الخلائق حاضرة كل السرائر بادية